What's going on guys? Welcome in to episode 45 of Paper Mario Dark Star. I, <clears throat> excuse me, came back to the boo shop and would you look at that? We have a snowman doll so we can buy the snowman doll and hopefully take care of the boss of chapter 5. So that's good and also we have the maple syrup here. So I realized that we didn't actually have a maple syrup and so in order to make the uh, maple ultra um, it would be good to have that so let's get like three of those and you know what we could just go ahead and head straight to chapter five now after we make the maple ultra of course so I'll meet you guys back there at the uh, at taste teas little restaurant and uh, yeah we're gonna make that item so I'll see you there in a minute all right and we made it back I was actually originally planning on just doing more of the Pit of 100 Trials <laughs> in this one, but hey, I mean, now that we have those snowman dolls, we're pretty good. I mean, we have, what, a couple healing items. We could probably go and grab maybe another healing item or two out of the shop. Probably exchange our Maple Ultra, so we don't really need that. We don't really need that with 25 HP <laughs> as our max. <clears throat> So, yeah, we'll put that back, and then we'll head over back to the volcano. So let's see what we have here. I definitely want to check the Maple Ultra. And we're done with that. This menu is a little weird. And what do we have? We have a dried fruit. We have another life shroom. We have the repel, <coughs> repel gel, excuse me. I'll get the bomb fruit out, because why not? And then what else do we have here? That's kind of it. And you know what? That's fine. We'll just take out the dried fruit because we might need that. And then I feel like we're pretty good, right? We're pretty prepared. Let's check our badges, though. Because... See, here's the thing. Okay. I was wondering if this was the case, and it is. Peekaboo is zero, so <laughs> I don't even have to worry about... That actually helps us, because that means we can take off quick change. So we don't really need that. And put on... Where is it? Ice power and fire shield for this upcoming level and boss. Because, yeah, I mean, that that's awesome. Because then we can just use sushi. And we don't really need anything else. Speaking of sushi, I need sushi to even get to the level. But it's going to be a kind of a walk over there. So I'm just going to meet you guys over there. I'll see you when we get to the boss. Hopefully I have all of my life. Where am I going? Okay, I'm going the wrong way, but I'll meet you guys over there. <laughs> I'll see you again in a minute. All right, and we made it back. So we kind of did that just fine. We have all of our life and everything. I don't want Bo out, so I'm going to go ahead and save like this. I want to say I have plenty of items for this, but I don't really know. Don't really know. But it's all right. We're going to take on this boss again. I want to say that we have everything we need to beat the boss. I want to say that. Do I know that for sure? Not really, because we didn't really get super close the other time. I'm hoping that the um, the spell that we got in the desert might help us out at some point. We have peekaboo, so we don't have to worry about that. So right off the bat, we can... Hmm. I mean, should I star storm? And then do a tidal wave? Or what? What should I do? Because that would waste a lot of stuff. Um, I mean... I could just attack these one by one. But would that be the best option? I feel like saving this for chill out might be a good, a good move. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to tidal wave first. Down. A. Down. B. A. Down. Oh, okay, that was close. I might have done seven damage there. Getting that eight damage is really hard. I did, I got seven. Okay. And, and unfortunately, my only AoE is Star Storm. So, I don't know if I should do that or not. But I'm going to. Because I am a gamer. And gamers make decisions. Whether those decisions are good or bad does not impact the fact that I am a gamer. 
All right, let's do our best to dodge this. Nope, never gonna happen. It's never gonna happen. But that's okay, we are doing great. All we have to do is take this guy out. We got our chill stomp and everything. We got our happy heart. We're doing great. I could squirt. I could squirt. Am I a squirter? I could water block. Am I a water blocker? I think I should be a squirter today. And not mess it up like I did that one time. Looking back at the footage, I don't think I threw the fight by messing that up. But it does suck. Oh, man. Every time, it's so freaking hard to dodge. Okay. Let's get him. Let's get him. Bam. All right. And we're really just kind of stuck with squirting, aren't we? I could belly flop. Does it reduce my attack or the enemy's attack? The enemy's attack? Oh, it is the enemy's attack. Should have done that earlier. Oh, for one turn, though. That's right. I mean, yeah, we're fine, right? So we've got... I mean, I could do it with Squirt. You know what? I'm going to Water Block. I'm going to Water Block, because that feels like a good move for some reason. What? What? What do you mean? I did those perfectly. No, I probably messed it up somehow. All right, well... We... Okay. Super glad I didn't mess that action command up. Okay, so we got through the first phase. I feel like we're in an okay spot. I don't know if it's perfectly ideal or not. But we do have Water Block, hopefully, as long as it doesn't get rid of it. I'm really hoping it doesn't get rid of it. Ooh, all right. <clears throat> it does not. So we have it for, like, fucking one more turn. All right, so let me test this out. Let me test the Snowman doll. I always like this item. <laughs> Reminds me of Kirby 64 a little bit. All right, so now they're all squiggly. Water block was completely pointless. But we can just squirt, or we could tidal wave. We could squirt or tidal wave. I don't know. I'll just squirt. I'll just squirt. We're going to be squirters today. All right, seven. It's pretty good. Ah, now we get our debuffs. That's not what I want. It's definitely not what I want to see. Okay, so are they all going to come back this turn is the question. I think they don't. I think it's only the one. Yeah, it is only the one. And we did get a successful water block. Too bad its effects wore off. Okay, so... I don't want to risk it. I do want to snowman doll. Because that would kill the other ones. But then they're all, they're going to come back. I know that they're going to come back. They shouldn't come back, but they will. But hopefully that staves them off for a while. I really don't like all these debuffs that we're getting. No, that did not stave those off at all. At all. So that doesn't even matter. Killing them doesn't even... That's not even a good thing. <sighs> okay. So we're... We're dead. And that's okay, because we have our life shroom. Um, I can tidal wave. No, I can't tidal wave. I can't tidal wave. Am I screwed? I might be screwed. Maybe we need that second life shroom. Yeah, oh, I'm so screwed. Because I could snowman doll. But then the problem with snowman doll is that, yeah, sure, it'll get rid of those two, but I still get attacked by the main one. And every attack, every turn, it does more damage. So I might actually need that other life shroom. It's only at 19. I got more health, but it's still going to kill me because I'm getting all those debuffs. It's going to come back, and then it's going to kill me in this hit. Yeah, no, I had no chance. Wow, this is a crazy hard fight. Um... I don't know, maybe the snowman dolls weren't the right way to go. I don't know if this fight is possible right now. It might actually be impossible. 
but phase two is still the one that kicks our butt. But our, the setup is good, and that's what I like. Okay, so first things first. You know what? I think chill out is the move. I think chill out is the best thing to do first, and then we're gonna um, we're going to do a tidal wave. That's gonna make all their attack go down. Tidal wave to take out those two. Oh, that's pretty good. Probably gonna do seven. Eight's like the max if you're crazy fast. Nine and five, okay. That's pretty good. Colorado to the rescue. Colorado has discovered that lava is hot for the fourth time in Groundhog's Day Mario that we have right here. All right, so he's gonna attack me. Ooh, good block. Oh, good block, okay. Okay, so, um, we're gonna go all out. We, we just have to go all out. 10 damage, that's pretty good. Got some life back, nice. Squirt. <gasps> okay, we still got six, we still got six. That's not the worst. Okay, okay, we're gonna get some protection too. Okay, this might be the battle. <laughs> if we can manage this well, then this might be it. Oh God. Okay, so... Okay, we blocked it again! <gasps> That's so good! Okay, okay, so we have a couple options here. We can either snowman doll and then squirt, or we could... I think I'm gonna apple pie, and then we're gonna tidal wave. I think that's the better option. And then we can tidal wave. Okay, that's decent. We'll do some damage. At least they're weak to water. Okay, those are all down now, that's good. But we're still getting all these crazy debuffs. <laughs> okay. <gasps> I can't believe I did that again! Okay, 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 okay. So, I feel like we just have to take the life shroom and go all out now. Okay. <gasps> he only has five left. I think we did it! I think we did it! We did it! We actually beat it! Yes! Oh, that's what I'm talking about! Oh, we're getting so many dubs. We beat the Robo Toad. We got through some of the Pit of 100 Trials. We beat the boss of Chapter 5. We're gonna get more star power. We're gonna get a new star power. Ability. Oh, man. Okay, that's so good. That's such a relief. We've been stuck here for far, far, far too long. There she is. The effects in this are pretty cool. Whoever made that effect, I'm, I'm impressed. I wish I could make effects like that. We did it. We did it. Now we're on to my favorite chapter in the game. I know... Every Paper Mario fan disagrees with me, but it's my favorite. Um, I didn't read that. And rescued the fifth star spirit, Miss Star, from a fiery fate. But the treasure Colorado is looking for is yet to be found. Wherever could it be? What's that? Something strange is going on around here. Yes, okay, we beat chapter five. I'm so happy. Mario, this way, we must hurry. Oh, I'm so happy. I am so, so happy. Just out of curiosity. No, not Bo. Nothing down here? I don't think there's that would be anything down here. The treasure doesn't seem to be anywhere around here. Gad, where could it be? And we barely even used the snowman dolls. 
Aha, the treasure. Some sort of starfish? Colorado's so dumb, man. Hmm, this won't do. The adventure is never over till the treasure is found. Ah, yes, of course. Perhaps that horribly fiery monster had it and was hiding it somewhere. Yes, that's it. I'll just run back and check. Hmm, what's this terrible trembling? Probably nothing. Kids with fireworks, no doubt. Now, after that treasure. No, wait. Ah, hot. God, he's so dumb. Oh, that's lava, isn't it? It's coming near. We must flee. No, the treasure is still there. I just know it. Mario, the volcano is going to erupt any time now. It's far too dangerous to go back the way you came. We have to escape another way. I feel a slight wind coming from this cracked wall. There could be a room near beyond. Mario, can you blow up this wall? I never check anything with Watt. Sushi. Come on. I'm going to do flop on the wall. Also, as I've learned from reading uh, Congo by Michael Crichton, it's, prob it's not a good idea to explode anything inside an active volcano. Mario, hurry. The lava is getting higher. All right. Nothing. 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 Nope. This is a room you don't ever really see after this part of the game is over. I knew it. At last, the treasure's right there. So close, can't resist. With the stars, I'll risk my life for that treasure. Sorry, Colorado. My treasure, no. You would die even just being that close to lava like that. <laughs> go. Lands very conveniently in a, the perfect spot. And now we get a peach segment. That's right. I always forget about these. I don't think you do much in this one. No, that's not true. This is the game show one, isn't it? I'm pretty sure this is the game show one. Because there's this, and then there's chapter 6 and 7. Chapter 7, you get caught. Chapter 6, you have to use the umbrella. So yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this. Oh, I am delicate. I'm behaving like a delicate princess, just like the ministers taught me to. I love to be delicate. Okay, okay, I believe you, Peach. You're the princess. Anyway, let's go for it. Okay. So, the game show's fun. We get to answer questions. Easy questions, unless they change them. And they might not be so easy. But you get a jam and jelly if you get all the questions right, and you win, and... I Either way, you get this umbrella thing, which is pretty cool. I love how they haven't noticed that the uh, giant padlock on the door is gone. Alright, so these ones are fucking crazy. <laughs> oh, God. What? Oh, fuck you. Fuck you, man. I don't know why they're so crazy like that. But, this means we have to walk farther... Hooray, walking farther than we wanted to be walking. Let's go. Avoiding ridiculous traps that don't make sense. Hooray. This room's a piece of cake. This one is just stupid. So that guy goes there, and then should be like what the fuck <laughs> what am i supposed to do like act oh well you know what i know what i have to do i have to fucking walk all the way around there's no clear way to get through there that is that is annoying that is very annoying it's a good thing I'm cutting out part of the video from earlier of just me walking, otherwise we'd have to end the episode. This might be a long episode. Very, very, very likely that it'll be a long episode. So which way does he turn is the question. This guy turns that way. So... He turns that way. Okay, there we go. That's our path. <laughs> that is our path. All right. Oh, it's Princess Peach. How'd she get out? King Bowser's really gonna flip 
his wig if we don't take her back to her room. Now, hang on just a second. Get a grip on yourself, okay? We need no need to panic. She can't get out of this castle anyway. And besides, what do you think about asking Princess Peach to participate in our little game? She'd be ideal, and we need a third person. Hmm, yeah, yeah, you might be onto something. Okay, let's do it. Princess Peach, you've been listening. Come this way. We won't tell King Bowser about your escape if you help us play this little game we're playing. We're set up right over here. No one who's played Paper Mario for the first time was expecting this. Oh no, Princess Peach. He is, Twink is really just right there, like not even hiding. I'm your host, Mr. Hammer. Why does this exist? I'm gonna ask you 10 questions. Okay, I know this. This is an easy one. The winner gets the gorgeous, fabulous prize. So it just depends on whether they change the questions or not, because they did change Chuck Quizmo questions. So it's very possible these are different. What's the name of the boss instead of the volcano? That would be Lava Piranha. Easy. Where did Master... Oh, shit! Fuck. I think I pressed A too fast. Which type of daisy lives in Forever Forest? Oh, that's... Lazy Daisy? Insaney Daisy. No. Okay, fuck. How would you get to flower fields? Past the flower gate. <laughs> Pray or cry? That's a good one. Question five. What's the name of the person who King Bowser really loves? Obviously, Mario. Princess Peach, clearly. That's a little bit of a trick question, I guess. Cammy. What thing is most deeply rated flower fields? Very, very obvious one. A flower. What's the name of the most admirable, invincible, blah, blah, blah? It's obviously going to be Bowser. Should have said Mario there just for the meme. But that's okay. What's the name for the ghost? Those are called boos. Starting from Toad Town, which direction is Flower Fields? What? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to say Northeast. Huh. Northwest. Interesting. Okay. Question 10. Where is Princess Peach's castle now? In the sky. On Bowser's castle. All right. Cool. We definitely won that. And we got the jam and jelly. Let's go. We can't actually redeem that until after the next chapter, but that's fine. Probably won't use it anyway. Sneaky parasol. You just have to promise not to use it to sneak around. I mean, nobody would know you were Princess Peach. Imagine. Sorry for giving you such a little prize, Princess. It's only a prize for participating, so what do you expect? What are you all doing? Hey, looks like fun. I'm gonna join in. What? You've already finished? Oh, all the rotten luck. God, Princess Peach, what's she doing here? She sneaked out again. Urgh. You take Princess Peach back to her room now. Sorry, Princess Peach. I like how they have some empathy. All right, here we go. So that probably unlocked a bit, a bit for us. We could maybe do the, uh, the Goomba King fight. Oh, woe is me, my beautiful treasure. Listen to you, no treasure in the world is more valuable than life. Be thankful you escaped. To think this island was put in terrible peril because of the meddling of Bowser's men. I think it will work out okay. The eruption will subside and Lava Lava Island will be just the same as it used to be. But I'm excited to fight Huff and Puff. That'll be a fun match. Dear Mario, you've saved five of us star spirits now. Just a few more to go. My name is Miss Star. Let me grant you power that will help you along. Mario's star power goes up to five. Mario can now use Smooch, a new star spirit power. 
With Smooch, you can restore Mario's HP. And survive a lethal hit on that turn. Oh. Okay, that's different. To go back to Starhaven for now, but if you need me, please call me at any time. I'll be watching you and wishing for your success. I know you'll see the princess soon enough, Mario. Have faith. Thank you again for saving me. See you soon. Did we even die that last time? Did we even use our, our life shroom? Oh, I was so close. The treasure right there. And then to get saved and yelled at by some sort of blooming great starfish. What a sad Colorado. Do I have my life shroom? I do. I didn't even use my life shroom or any of the snowman dolls. Okay. Well, that's fun. That's all the time we have in this episode, so I hope you all had fun. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit like, and if you want to see more, don't forget to hit subscribe, and check the links out in the description. I'll see you all next time, and peace out.